What's going on you guys? It's been a while since I've gotten the Samsung Z Flip 4 and I think I'm ready to give you guys a more in-depth review or at least my opinion of an in-depth review. First, the last video I made about this phone, I was super hyped, super excited about it. So, you know, most of the thoughts and most of the feeling of it was just, I just couldn't wait to show you guys what it really is and how excited I was to have it in my hand. Do I still feel that or is it kind of fading? Or do I really have a lot of problems with it? Well, in this video, we're gonna talk all about that. So make sure you guys stick around. So first of all, this is a brand new phone that just came out, I think a month ago. And this is the new Z Flip 4. I put a case on it. It's pretty dope case by Samsung. It says flip right there, but it also has this like cool kind of keychain hooking thing where I can hook a keychain on here or a necklace so I can wear it. I think it's something like that. It's it, overall, it's a nice case. I'm not gonna go over how the phone looks like or anything in that matter. What I really wanna talk about is just the usability of this phone on an average day for an average person. I just take a lot of pictures and what I really feel about the camera in this. Okay, so let's get started. This phone has been great not gonna lie it's been really interesting to use a flip phone again the most interesting thing is getting used to the front screen this front screen is actually really usable and it's really handy because there are some times that i really want to just change the settings really quickly like putting it on vibration or turning up the volume or even turning off my wi-fi bluetooth making phone calls any of those things i can just quickly change it right on that front screen without ever opening my phone. I can even make payments without ever opening my phone. The thing is, it took a little bit of getting used to. I wasn't used to it at all, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's, it's, it's hard because every phone that we've used or I've used in the last, I don't know, 10 years has been a phone that doesn't flip. So you kind of get it and use it right away. That's how I kind of used this phone when I first had it first couple weeks I really just opened it to turn off Wi-Fi or to turn off Bluetooth or to make my phone vibrate or silence I have I opened the phone for everything getting used to this was the hardest part but once you do get used to it the function is really nice especially the camera double click on the camera just press double press on the power button and the camera goes on right and taking a picture with it you just press the volume button super easy that way and when I'm trying to take a selfie, I can just reach out and see myself and take a selfie. It fits perfectly in the hand. It doesn't feel anything weird. Also, another cool spot is the flashlight. So when you swipe down, swipe to the right, you hit the flashlight, nothing turns on. But if you press the volume up button, you can kind of see the light goes on. That's another cool feature. So sometimes when I need the flashlight, I don't really have to open up my phone, go through the settings and find flashlight and all that stuff. It just all happens right on the screen, which is really nice. Another cool thing about this case and this screen is that when I drop it, right, it's just a tiny screen, but it's not dropping on a glass or a front of the phone or a back of a phone. And then I feel like it's damaged. I have the case and it's just literally wrapped around the entire phone, except the screen. But you know, you know, you know why. Opening up the phone can be done with one hand. It can be done with two hands, whatever you need. It just, it just works with, you know, you get used to it. It's not like the fastest thing. Of course, you can do it with two hands and it's faster, but you open it, talk, call, use the phone. The fingerprint scanner, it's extremely fast. It's the fastest I've ever used. It's insane. You just tap it and it goes on right away. Just barely press on it. It's super useful because I set it to my index or my thumb because I use my phone sometimes like this or like this. And trust me, I do use it like this when, this is what's cool about this case, put my finger through there and then now I just press it like that. Pretty cool, cool case, I definitely recommend it. Anyways, inside the phone just feels like another Samsung phone. That isn't a bad thing, it's a good thing. It doesn't have anything that I'm worried about, except the screen is super long. So then when you're watching videos and just going through some of the stuff, it's, it doesn't fit, there's two empty spots on the side, especially with movies, right? But with apps, it works perfectly well, Instagram app you pretty much see more than what a normal phone would see because it's extra wide. Super cool, I like that. I really like that about it. The crease, would you get used to the crease? 
Yeah, actually you do. It is still kind of weird sometimes when I run my finger through the crease. I'm like, whoa, there's a crease there. But honestly, after using it for a few days, I use the phone and I stop even noticing the crease is there. So if you're worried about the crease, don't. It works just fine and it won't be noticeable as you continue using it. Pretty much when it's in this position, it's a Samsung phone. You guys all use Samsung phone before and if you haven't, it's a great phone. It's pretty much the same thing in there. The really big difference is that it flips, right? And this is why I'm going to just be talking about the flipping part. Don't really want to talk about the inside of the phone or how great it is. It's great. It's a great phone. It's fast. The camera is great. It's not the best I've ever used. The Samsung S22 Ultra is the best camera I've ever used. This is a big phone which you put in your pocket. It's probably going to stick out, but being able to close it like this, now it's compact. The fact that it's compact and it's durable, more durable now because of its backing and the case, it feels a lot nicer. Putting this in my pocket feels nice. Putting it in anywhere I go feels nice. I can put it on the table and not really feel like, oh crap, that was a hard put on the table. As in like you drop it on the table and it's nothing's gonna happen. The other phone, I get worried sometimes that it might drop too hard or crack. I've dropped this phone a few times now and yeah, it sucks about that part. But with the case on here and the screen being protected because it's closed, I didn't even have any concern. I wasn't worried that the screen was cracked. I wasn't worried that anything was broken. It felt really safe. I picked it up and knew that nothing was wrong. And sure enough, nothing is wrong with it. Really great phone. I definitely recommend this to anybody. The Samsung Z Flip 4, it's a really good phone. If you're thinking about a flip phone, this one is definitely it. All right, you guys, my name is Andy. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.